this is Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this shawl or this wrap here that you've seen in the photo. Now I actually don't have all the fringe on mine yet because of my whole skein of yarn and I didn't have enough. So I'm going to have to put more on it still. But I'll lay it out and show you here real quick. Okay, what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and move my camera so it might be a little bit jumpy. But... As you can tell, it's really long across the top there. Don't mind my mess of cords over there. And then it comes down here to the point. Now, I'm going to put more fringe there. I just ran out and I, ha I didn't I haven't finished it yet. So I'm going to set my camera down. And I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. I just wanted to show you, if you've seen that, it's getting really long at the top. And that's the way it's supposed to be. And in the picture, you'll see a shawl pin, and that's how I held, held, it, held it together with the shawl pin. You can use a button, too. Um, I also want to take a moment to ask you, if you haven't already, to maybe subscribe to my channel, um, if you could. And give this video a like and a share. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, and now for this project, I used Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. And there are 482 yards in this skein. And as you can see, I didn't... I only finished about half of the fringe, so I'll have to use a little bit of this one to finish it. Um, the color I used is cocoa. Now you can use any color that you wish. And this Red Heart is just a medium weight four ply acrylic. You don't have to use this brand. Any type of four ply yarn will work. And then I used a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Now this is super, super easy, and it would be good for a beginner. And you can make your shawl a lot bigger than mine. You can just continue the repeat row. So you want to start with a slip knot on your hook. And then we're going to work a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And now what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet right back here into this first stitch. So now what we have is we double crocheted into that fifth, uh, that first stitch, so that leaves four stitches here. That four stitches is going to count as a triple crochet. So we got a triple and a double. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to work two more, or another double crochet right back into that same spot. And then we're going to work a triple crochet back into the same spot. So that's where we yarn over twice and go right in and triple crochet. So that's the beginning right there. Now what we're going to do is chain two and turn our work. Now that chain two does not count as anything at all. I'm going to go ahead and work a triple crochet in the very very first stitch right here. If you prefer to work a chain four at to count as a triple crochet, you can do that. I don't really like the looks of the chains, so I do a chain of two and then I work a triple. Either way will work. Now I'm going to put a double crochet into that same stitch, a chain of two, and then two more double crochets. So let me explain what I did there. On the ends of the shawl, this is what is always going to be on the ends. It's always going to be, I'll show you here, the big one. That's what makes the shawl get bigger. The ends have a triple on the very end and then a double, and then chain two and two doubles. And then on the opposite end, it'll be the opposite. So I'll go ahead and show you. So we just did that one end. Now right here is a chain two, and it's not, it's not gonna be one of the ends. So what we're gonna do in this chain two space that's not an end, is just do a regular V stitch. So we're gonna do one double crochet, and we're gonna chain two, and go right back into it again, and do another double crochet. So that's going to be a regular V-stitch. Now we're on the end again. So we need to do our end V-stitch, and that's this big one here. 
So we're going to do it in the top of this chain right here. So what we're going to do is go into that top of that chain and we're going to work two double crochets, a chain of two, and then we're going to go back into the same spot and we're going to work a double crochet and since it's on the opposite end a triple crochet now the triple crochets always are on the outside of the shawl like that so that's what it looks like now now we're going to chain two again and turn our work and now we're going to do another end v stitch and we're going to work start in this very first stitch here and we're going to work since it's on the outside we're going to start with a triple this time and then we'll work a double in the same spot a chain of two and then two more doubles so that is our NV stitch and now right here you want to look for the next chain two space which is right here we're going to do a regular V stitch so we're going to go right through that space and work a double crochet a chain of two and another double crochet okay and then we're going to jump over and we see another chain two space in the middle here this V stitch so we're going to jump over to that and do a regular V stitch we're going to do a double crochet a chain two and another double crochet again right here is another chain two so we're going to do a regular V stitch in it we're going to do a double chain two and another double now we're at the end and we need to work in this triple crochet on the end our end V stitches are always worked in the triple crochets on the end so what we're going to do is go into that triple crochet and work our NV stitch. So we're going to work two double crochets, a chain two, and then a double crochet, and then a triple crochet. Because the triple crochets always have to be on the outside of the work. Just like that. So that's what it's starting to look like. And all it is is kind of just repeating that the, this row that we're doing. Yeah. It just keeps getting a little bigger and bigger because you're making these NB stitches here it makes it wider. So now we're going to chain two again, turn our work, and now we're going to start start right here in this first stitch. And since we're on the end, we got to start with a triple. And then a double in that same spot and then a chain two and then two more doubles now we just work every chain two space we see we work a regular V stitch so right here is a regular V so we do a double chain two and a double the next chain two space right here we do a double, chain two, and a double. Next one here, we do a double, chain two, and another double. The next one here, double, chain two, and a double and then we got one last chain two space here a double chain two and a double and now we need to work our NV stitch in this last triple crochet so we're going to put in that triple crochet two doubles chain two and then one double and one triple because the triple always has to be on the outside and that is it we just keep repeating that row and remember it's going to be a lot wider than it is longer 
So again, we would just chain, we'd chain two and turn our work. And in this very first stitch here, we triple crochet. We do our end V stitch. We'd have to do the triple first because the triple always has to be on the outside. Oh. And then we do a double, chain two, and two more doubles, all into the top of that triple crochet there. And then we start working our regular V-stitch in every single one of these chain two spaces until you get to the end. Don't forget your last one here. And then in the last triple, we do our big or our big B stitch, but make sure you do it where the triple is the last stitch. And that's it. You just keep continuing that for as long as you want your scarf to be. I didn't do mine. I didn't mind. You've seen it in the photo how big mine looks. Now you can do it a lot longer. It'll be a lot, and it would be pretty long at the top, and it'll hang, and it'll be able to wrap around you, and it'd probably be really nice. But for tutorial purposes, I just used the one skein. But it would really look nice, I think, if you did another skein on it. But I got to, uh, I just kind of cut it short so I can start on another tutorial too. But it still looks pretty good the way I did it. But I did a total of, I did a total from the very first row, I did 34 rows. And like I said, I didn't have enough with one skein to finish all my fringe and you don't have to put fringe on it if you don't want to but at the end of your 34th row if you want to do it my size you just tie off if you want to make it a lot bigger it, it, would, it would be really pretty that way you know if it was really really big and these long sides here were able to just wrap around you it would be gorgeous but you can do it just like mine too now if you want to add fringe I'll show you how I did that because I still got to add some on mine all I did was, you can decide how many pieces of yarn you want in your fringe. <clears throat> okay. I took it and I wrapped it. I probably made a string about uh, 15 inches and I did it 12 or 15 inches and I did it three times so I got three strings there you can see that so let me get my scissors and clip it so I got three strings approximately 12 15 inches long now you take it with uh, the right side of your shawl facing you and I put mine right here on the side of these triple crochets what you do is you just pull it through like that and then grab it with your fingers so it's like and you make these two even and then you take these two and you pull them through and that's how you do a the fringe and then you can clip the ends there and make them all even I'll do it again if I can find the end of my yarn it just keeps disappearing from me okay Okay, like I said, 12, 15, maybe even 18 inches long because you can trim them up at the end. Do it till you got three pieces of yarn. And then you go over to your next. You can put them evenly, space them out however you want, but I'm just doing it around like the triples, like I said, at the end here. You just, I just stick my hook through there. Grab all the strings and pull them through, but not all the way. Now I put my fingers in there and I make these even here at the ends. And then I take them and pull them right through. And then you can clip the ends to make them even with the other ones. So that's how I do the fringe. And you can do that all the way around if you want. If you want to have thicker pieces of fringe, use more than the three pieces of yarn. Use five, however many you want. Make tassels. You can do whatever you want. It's completely up to you. But that's all there is to it. It's a super easy uh, V-stitch shawl. It kind of makes like a big obtuse triangle. Obtuse is where it's really long at the top, but more narrow at the bottom. And it's really cool. I mean... Um, there's a lot of ways you can wrap. Some people use the front 
and they wrap the front they put this in front of them and then they wrap it around the size around their shoulders so there's lots of ways you can do it other than the way I just showed you but that's it that's all there is to it I hope you enjoyed my tutorial I know it was pretty quick this uh, pretty quick tutorial but it did take me a while to crochet <laughs> most of the day to get all that crocheted but yeah, like I said, if you want to use, you can make it bigger. You just keep following along, make it as big as you want. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel, like I said in the beginning, if you don't mind. And check out all my, all my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them on all different things. Um, you come check me out on Facebook, where you can post all your crochet items. And until next time, have a good day.